all right then welcome back everyone let's solve this question on jellyfish in undertale so i hope you have read the question once uh, but i'll still read it for sake of completion so this question um, in general is very easy uh, frankly but uh, just uh, knowing how beautiful uh, greedy can be at times uh, is the main uh, takeaway of this video so yeah so implementation will be very easy but uh, building up a greedy solution is what you should be after okay so the question is very simple uh, so basically there is a bomb here uh, that is initially set to B and every second the timer will decrease by 1. When the timer reaches 0 the bomb will explode. Okay. And uh, what we have is we have these tools. We have these end tools. Each tool can be used at most once. That is important thing. It can be, each tool can be used at most once. If we use the ith tool the timer will increase by xi. However, however, if the timer is changed to integer larger than a then the timer will set a due to a bug. So basically um, if we have a, a equals to let's say 7 initially the, let's say right now the timer is 5 and you let's say use a tool and increment it by let's say 3, increment it by 3, then it will become 8, right? But there is a problem with this uh, timer such that if it crosses this A, it again becomes 7, So right? So basically, if it crosses 7, then it is bound to that, right? So basically, the timer is bound to this A. The timer, by using a tool, you can increase the timer of the bomb, but it is bounded by A. If it goes beyond A, it will stick to A, right? So that's what it is, right? So that's it. It's bounded by A and uh, they're given it more specifically at every second what happens is, at every second what happens is, you can choose a tool, you can choose a tool of your choice. So let's say right now the timer is at some point C. And if you decide to choose a timer, first the timer will be incremented to C plus Xi, minimum of C plus Xi and A, right? Because there is a problem with the timer. It uh, doesn't, it does not go beyond A. So every, but at every second, if you decide to use a tool, uh, if you decide to use a tool, the timer will be made like this first, right? C plus Xi or A, minimum of C plus Xi or A, right? If you don't use the timer anyway, the timer will be decreased by one, right? Yeah, so the timer will be changed. Now this is optional. This is optional. So either you can make the timer as C or change it to this, right? So either you keep the timer at C at every second. So let's say the timer was here 5. Either you decide to use a tool and increment the time or keep it as 5. Okay, but if you decide to increment it, this formula will be followed. Either it will be incremented to C plus Xi or A, right? Because A is my bound. And then the timer will be decreased by 1. And if the timer is 0 after decreasing 1, then bomb explodes. So basically, let's say a simple example would be something like this. Let's say your timer is 5. Then at, at every second, so at fifth second, what will happen is if you decide to use a tool, it will be incremented. Let's say I don't decide to use a tool. So 5 will become 4, then 4 will become 3, then 3 will become 2. Let's say I decide to use a tool uh, whose value is xi. Xi is let's say 1. So if I decide to use a tool here, this 2 plus 1, then 3 will happen. 3 will happen. Uh, let's say a is very big value right now. The bound is let's say 10. So it will be incremented to 3. It will be incremented to 3 here. Now then anyway, it has to reduce. Anyway, it has to reduce. And it, when the timer is timer approaches this one second, now it will explode, right? At this second, it will explode. So that's how it goes, basically. So the question uh, is very simple. Uh, Jellyfish now wants to know the maximum time in seconds until the bomb explodes if the tools are used optimally, right? So the tools are used optimally. What is the maximum time until the bomb explodes? Fine, okay. That's that. So the question is uh, simple. Uh, what we are given is, uh, we are given three things, uh, basically. We are given A, we are given B, and you are given N. What is this A? This is a bound. Basically, if you try to go past this timer, then timer will be fixed to it. And then uh, this B is your starting time, right? Because it is initially, it is initially, uh, I guess that is written here, it is initially set to B. And then N is 3, how many tools you have? How many tools you have? So what is the maximum time in seconds until the bomb explodes, basically? That's what they've asked, right? So what is the maximum time in seconds until the bomb explodes? The tools are used optimally. That's what they've asked us. So yeah, so that's that. Like uh, what you want to do is you want to maximize the time until the bomb explodes, right? That's what you want to do. So yeah. So initially, let's, I've taken the example from code forces itself. So initially, I'm starting out with three, right? And I have uh, these three tools available, one, one, seven. Now, what do you think uh, is the optimal time to use a tool? So how do you use a tool? Basically, at every second, uh, you can do, uh, you, the, every second, this is what happens. Either you decide to increment the timer, increment the timer to C plus Xi or A, basically minimum of C plus Xi and A, and then the timer decreases by one, and if it reaches zero, then bomb explodes. So what do you think uh, is the optimal time? What do you think is the optimal time uh, to use the tool? Right. So hear me out. Like uh, it's not very difficult to observe. Use the tool, use the tool as late as possible, as late as possible. Okay. I'll just give you one example and you will know why this is the case. So let's say initially the timer is set to three and A is five, right? And you had a tool with a very big value. You had a very big value. So maybe for uh, your better explanation, what I'll do is let's say initially the timer starts for, from five. Okay. Your timer starts from five here and your A is five, right? So basically your A is five. You cannot go beyond five. So if you decide to use a tool here, let's say I have a tool uh, you know, with value 4 here. Okay, I have a tool with value 4 here. It increments the timer by 4. If I decide to use a tool here, it will try to increment it. 5 plus 4 9, but it is bounded by this A. So anyway, it will be converted to 5. 
right? It will be converted to 5, right? And after 5 seconds, after 5 seconds, it will explode. But what if I had done it, I, have, I would have used this tool as late as possible. Let's say I'm using this tool at 5, fine. I'll let it go to 4, then 3, then 2, then 1, then 2, then 1. And now if I use the timer here, if I use the timer here, 5 plus uh, 4, 1 plus 4, 5. So this will anyway bound to 5. Then again, I got 5 seconds here, right guys? So that was the beautiful thing about it, right? So basically here, uh, so it will become 5, then 4, 3, 2, 1. So I gained some extra time here, right? That's what you saw. Here, I was anyway getting completed in 5 seconds, but here I got an extra time. And like, it's not very difficult to observe that even if I use the tool here, here or here, we would have not gotten this much time, right? That's a very simple thing to observe. So basically, uh, the point of this is use the tool as late as possible, right? If you use the tool as late as possible, you will maximize the time, right? So that's what, that's why it's a greedy question, right? So you have to use the tool as late as possible. You are being greedy here. You're trying to use the tool as late as possible. Fine. So that's that. So frankly, uh, in which order you use the tool uh, doesn't really matter here. In which order you so why it doesn't matter is uh, in any order you use the tool because in the end you have to use every possible tool, right? So this is what is the main strategy. Use the tool as late as possible and you can pick the tool in any order you want. Uh, that's not much of a problem here because in the end you have to use every tool, right? So fine. So let's start uh, with this. So initially the timer is set to 3. So we'll use the timer as late as possible, okay? So this 3 will become 2. This 2 will become 1. And now at this point, at this point, if I don't use the tool, the bomb will explode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the tool. Let's say use this tool. So I'll add 1 to it. So it will become, it will become 2. Is it greater than A? No. Fine. So it will be 2 only. So then 1 will be decremented. So again, 1. At this point, if I don't do anything, the bomb will explode. So I'll use the tool. I'll add 1 to it. 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 1 is 2. It's still less than A. It's still less than A. It's still less than A. So I cannot do, like, uh, I need not uh, brought it down, uh, bring it down. So then I'll decrement it again. 1. Fine. So at this point, I have to use the tool. Otherwise, the bomb will explode. So I'll add 7 to it. If I add 7 to it, if I add 7 to it, this becomes 8. This becomes 8. But this 8 is greater than 5. So it will be bounded now. It will be bounded to 5. It will be bounded to 5. And uh, this 5 will become 4, then become 3, then 2, then 1, and then explode. So how much uh, total seconds did we take? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Right? So basically, yeah, 9 is the answer. So let's uh, see a little bit again what just happened here. See. You were at 3, right? So 3 seconds went here. 3 seconds uh, went here. The initial timer was set to 3. 3 seconds here. And at this point, at this point, you got a gain of 1. You got a gain of 1. So 1 more second here, right? So you got a gain of 1 here again, right? And at this point, you got a gain of what? You got a gain of, uh, if you observe here, what was, your, what was your gain? So this is 1, fine. So this is 1, fine. And uh, at this point, uh, Lastly, 3 plus 1 is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5, and last but not least, uh, this is 4, right? Right, so basically what I'm saying is, initially uh, it ran for 3 seconds, and then it, it here, when you use a tool, when you use a tool, you got a gain of 1 second. When you again use a tool, you got a gain of 1 second. And at this point, when you try to use a tool, you got a gain of what? You got a gain of what? So this gain is what? 4, right? So this 4 is uh, basically got a gain of xi. Uh, xi or yeah, it is basically a minus 1, right? So this gain is of a minus 1, right? So because a was 5. So don't worry if you don't understand it. Let's take one more example. Uh, you'll get it. Uh, so let's just uh, take this example. a equals to 7. Second example. I guess the second example will uh, make everything clear. So we are starting from 1, right? We are starting from 1. So if you don't use a tool here, the bomb will explode. So let's use a tool. So let's use 1 here. So we are going to use 1. So this 1 gives 2. Is 2 greater than 7? Uh, 2 greater than 7? No, right? 2 is not greater than 7. So 2 is going to be like this only. Uh, and then it will be decremented to 1. You have to use a tool here, guys. Uh, you have to use a tool. So 1 plus 2, 3. So 1 plus 2 is 3. So I'll write here 3 and then 3, 2, 1. Fine. So again, you have to use a tool. So I use this 2, fine. And then I have to use 5 here. I have to use 5 here. So this will be 6. This will be 6. So similarly, uh, you can go like this. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 3, 2, 1. And uh, at this point, uh, you have to again use a tool. At this point, you have to again use a tool. So 1 plus 6 is 7. 1 plus 6 is 7. But still, it's not greater than A. So no issues there. So maybe I'll start from here. So yeah, maybe I can go down. Uh, that would be better. Or yeah, let's just go down. So 7, right? So 7. So 7 will be 6. Then uh, 4. Or maybe I have to go horizontally only. Otherwise, the space will be less. So fine. So we are at 7 here. Then 6, 5. 4, 
थ्री टू एंड वन तो नाउ यू यू हैव टू यूज द टूल अगेन राइट दिस पॉइंट इट विल बिकम नाइन बट नाइन इज नॉट अलाउड राइट सो नाइन इज नॉट अलाउड सो इट विल बी कनॉट एड टू फाइव सॉरी फाइव नॉट फाइव राइट सेवन सो इट विल बी कनॉट एड टू सेवन एंड देन इन टू द सिक्स फाइव सो ऑन राइट सो बेसिकली सिक्स सेकेंड्स सो ऑब्जर्व वन थिंग यर गाइज वेन एवर यू यूज अ टूल हाउ मच गेन आर यू गेटिंग सी how much gain you are getting so initially since b was 1 it has to run for one second fine it has to run for one second after it run like at the one one at second basically what you first second basically what you do is you use a tool here right so how much gain did you get a oh, one second right so you got a gain of one second here you got a gain of one second so initially you had to run for one second and when you use a tool it gave you a gain of one second when you use a tool here what happened you got a gain of two right basically the value of the tool that you used so you got a gain of two so basically what will happen is now you will run for two more seconds two more seconds and You will again basically when you use the tool here again. How much gain are you getting, guys? See, here we add a tool uh, with a value five. So how much gain are you getting? See, one, two, three, four, five. Right. So again, you got a value five here. You got a value five here. Fine. So and at this point, I'm again using the tool. So I'm again using the tool with a value of what? With a value uh, six. The value six. So you should be getting a gain of six here. If you see here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Right. Fine. So you are getting a gain of six here, right? So if I come from that part, yeah. So till that it was five, right? So till this part, right? You are getting a gain of uh, six. You are getting a gain of six. When you use the tool here, when you use the tool here, since since it was uh, since it uh, uh, since it go beyond a in the upper bound that you had, now how much gain did you get? How much gain did you get? You only got a gain of six. You only got a gain of six. So you see what is happening here. Uh, You see what is happening here. So gain per tool. What is the gain? Basically, I should write uh, gain for a tool. How much time are you getting for using a tool? So what is the time? Is if you observe here, if you observe here, if it is like a, if it is basically not exceeding, basically if it is a uh, not exceeding the upper bound. So I should write like this. The gain is like this. So the time becomes first. One plus x i, one plus x i. Minimum of one plus x i minus one. This is what the gain you have, right? So basically, when you reach the one at second, the gain that you get is yeah. Basically, when you reach the one at second, it becomes two seconds. It becomes two seconds, and then you subtract one from it, right? It becomes two seconds, and then you subtract one from it. So this is what is the gain you got, right? So when you reach here at one second, and you added a tool of five, so it became six. It became six, and then you got a gain of what? Basically, x i. So basically, what I'm saying is, um. Uh, I want to even simplify it. You can write it like this: your gain for every x i is minimum of x i a minus one. This is what it is. So this this two equations are exactly same. So yeah, that's not like you can observe it. So what happens is, uh, first things first. Anyway, uh, this b time will be there, right? So anyway, you will execute it for three second. Anyway, you will execute for three second. And whenever you use a tool, how much gain do you get? So if I use this one here, I get a I get a gain of one. I get a gain of one. But if it goes beyond, if it goes beyond a, then you get a gain of a minus one. Here you got a gain of a minus one, right? So here also you can see. Firstly, anyway, one second it has to execute, and whenever you try to use a tool, if I try to use a tool here, I'll either get a gain of that x, I'll either try to get gain of xi, I'll either try to get a gain of xi, or if it goes beyond a, I'll get a gain of a minus one. So that, that's observation, right? So I hope you got it, right? So if you don't get it, uh, please uh, rewind the video. So I try to explain the example as in as detail as possible. So the idea is very simple, guys. So first things first, you have to use a tool as late as possible. And when you use a tool, how much gain you are getting? That's what you have to see, right? So by just tracing, tracing out the example, you can see if I use the tool, if I use a tool, the gain that I get is either x i, either x i, either x i, or a minus one. So basically, the minimum of uh, the minimum of them, right? So basically, okay. So here's the code. The code is pretty straightforward. So this is just the input. And uh, anyway, it will run for b seconds. So the initial timer that it had, and when it reach reaches one second. You first increment it by x, you increment it by x, and if it it gets greater than a, it gets greater than greater than by a, you basically uh, bound it, right? You bound it to a. So this is what it does. So it gets incremented by x, but if it goes beyond a, bound it, and then minus one, right? So this minus one accounts for this part, right? So basically, uh, it whenever one second occurs, you increment it by one, you do one plus x, and then do minus one, right? So basically two minus one here, three minus one, uh, six minus one, so six minus one basically five second, right here, like this. So That's that, or other way to write it like this. So, other way to write when write the similar way, total plus equals to minimum of. So, for every use of the tool, you'll get either a gain of x basically here it is x, every gain of x or a minus one, right? 
either you will get a gain of x either uh, you will get a gain of x or a minus 1 basically a minus 1 right that's what will happen fine so that's uh, that and in the end you can just uh, see how to do it i hope you got it um, let me know in the comments uh, if you have any doubts i'll be happy to correct it